Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to go back over this uh, cool brewing bag again. I've brewed a beer uh, last weekend and I didn't film it and uh, apologize. I just was really anxious to brew beer again since I moved into the new house. I am thinking of brewing on Memorial Day weekend, so I will be filming that uh, for sure. I haven't decided what I'm going to brew yet, but anyways, let's get to the point here. So in the other video, I said uh, uh, I had ordered this bag and it got great reviews and uh, I had always done a swamp cool before then. So I decided to try this thing out and uh, I'm quite impressed with uh, how well it keeps temp and uh, my beer has been sitting around 70 degrees pretty much the whole time. 68 to 70 degrees I should say. I'm trying to open this. <laughs> bear with me here so anyways um you can see my fermentation is pretty much done i mean all the krausen is settled and uh initially when i set this thing to brew i was using two two liter bottles because this thing was kind of staying a little warmer but uh as it went through fermentation it cooled down more and more and I ended up only having to use one bottle. So I'd say for maybe the first day or two, you'll want to go with two two liter bottles. And I just ran it, I didn't have two liter bottles laying around, so I just went to the grocery store and uh, bought some cheap uh, sodas and just dumped them in because I wanted the bottles, like 70 cents a bottle pretty much. And I just keep three of these two liters in the fridge or freezer and uh, they, they, you know, by the time one's completely back to water I've got one or two ready to go and I just want to show you this I don't know if you can see this you probably won't be able to but I've got a thermometer on here and right now it's sitting at about 67 degrees so I'm gonna let this guy sit till Sunday and then I'll rack it to my second dairy and then I'll add some Zythos hops to dry hop it but uh, this is an, uh, an American IPA and uh, I've got uh, warrior hops for the early bittering uh, and then I've got two ounces of Willamette about 30 minutes in and then 45 minutes and then uh, I'll dry hop with Zythos and Zythos is kind of like a hybrid hop and uh, gives you kind of a great fruity flavor at least I think it tastes great fruity but you see my airlock is pretty much it's done uh, bubbling away there's not a lot of CO2 pressure anymore but I still want it to sit until about Sunday, and then I'm going to rack it over to the secondary. But yeah, I mean, this this is a six-gallon carboy, and it does not touch the it does not really touch the roof of this thing at all. So maybe a six and a half gallon might touch the top a little bit, but either way, I don't see how it could be a problem. If you're doing a high gravity beer and your yeast goes out of control, if you're using like. Uh, some kind of real hyperactive yeast that just loves to build a major Krausen on it. Uh, this will actually help keep from splattering your uh, brew everywhere. <laughs> so, anyways, you know, I do like my new house in the sense that I've <laughs> dedicated a portion of my closet to uh, all my beer equipment. I've got these little spice balls for putting my hops in so I can keep most of the hops contained. And, you know, I got my, you know, assortment of items here, racking cane and siphon and bottle capper, bottle uh, rack, even though I keg most of the time. And I, I ordered this um, paddle from Abbey Cat Brewing. It's a guy um, who just happens to make maple wood uh, mash paddles. And I, I, I love this thing. I've used it once so far and uh and i just hang it up when i'm done i used to use this little plastic rake guy but it's flimsier and you know it's all get out and so i don't use it anymore i'm probably gonna actually toss that thing or give it to a buddy someone else who brews because this mash paddle i can just do like get all the dough balls out of my mash so much better with this thing but yeah check them out uh uh, Abby Cat Brewing, uh, the guy makes mash paddles and he also has a foster care for stray cats or homeless kitty cats and so thought I'd give him a little plug there. But anyways, um, 
yeah, if you don't have one of these, it's way better than a swamp cooler. You don't need a fan. You don't need anything. Uh, all you need is just uh, some two liter bottles that have frozen, that are frozen, and just put them in there with your uh, uh, fermenter and just let it go. It holds temperature very well. And uh, I, I'm looking forward to uh, doing some more fermentations uh, in the near future with it. So there's my review. If you have any questions, please post your comments below and uh, I will try and answer them the best I can. Uh, cheers, uh, 17.